Hey guys, I'm gonna teach you guys how to find, you know, spear fishing spots in the Florida Keys. So first of all, depending on where you're at, you need to be the proper distance offshore to spear fish. Where we're at, we're required to be three miles offshore to spear fish. The best way to check your distance from the nearest point of land is Google Earth. You just use your GPS location measure. There's like a little uh, ruler looking thing at the top of the uh, screen, and uh, I can drop a I can drop a, a picture of that here and uh, you're just going to measure your distance from that uh, nearest piece of land and you need to be 3.01 miles offshore to spearfish uh, where we're at now uh, you know further west you can be uh, I think a, a couple hundred yards offshore you know you can start spearfishing anyhow so how to find the spearfishing spot you're looking for is is you just look at the water color when you got good good visibility it's pretty shallow what you're going to see is a lot of grass in most places but as you go offshore you're going to start to see what i'm seeing here and if you can see that light color uh around these coral heads and the structure that's where the fish have eaten back they've eaten back the grass and stuff around the coral heads you can go on google earth and whenever you see a really good uh, coral head or something, you're gonna be able to identify it easy because it's gonna be a, a, a dark spot with a, 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 a kind of a light sandy colored circle around it, an outline. So it's, it's gonna be really easy to find a lot of these spots on Google Earth. And, um, and I'm telling you, whether you like to spearfish or whether you just like to come snorkel with your family or like Danny's doing, uh, cast a, a, a bait, just let it sit on bottom and just wait you don't need to reel it in just uh let it chill so we just we, we got a chum line going anytime we're spear fishing i'm always going to chum the water and you guys are like why would you chum doesn't chum bring in sharks yeah chum brings in everything that's why we do it and i don't care about sharks sharks uh they don't bother you unless you bother them you know 99 percent of the time look we respect them, they respect us. You're just another apex predator to a shark. Unless you act like prey, they're not gonna treat you like prey. So you go down there and you just act natural. And if you start seeing some aggressive, stiff, rigid posturing from a from a bigger bull shark or something, you're gonna wanna back out of the area. You just don't wanna press uh, on a creature who might be a little territorial. You might be you know, pushing up into something here, or you might have shot a fish and he might wanna come get at it if, if a bull shark wants to fish, I, I'm gonna let him have it. I'm not gonna fight him over. You know, um, if if he if, if I shoot a fish and it gets reefed up and a bull shark goes diving into that that, that coral head part, I'm gonna I'm gonna let him have it. Cause even if you just get cut, you know, by those those things down there wrestling around or trying to wrestle that group right out of there, those sharks get really excited, and you could just get a uh, you could just get cut on accident. Cause they're not coming after you. They're coming after the fish. I'm kind of rambling, huh? You're okay. <clears throat> I would definitely go after that group. You would? I would. You know, Red's just, he's, he's got no fear, man. He's an animal. He's just, he's, he's a primal creature. I thought I had one, Captain, now my bait's gone. Well, you did have one, and he got your bait.
You what? What do I spray on my nipple when it's Vinegar. burning? Saliva. And gasoline. Saliva. Okay. Yes. Let, let, let somebody suck on it like that guy sucked on Jake's finger last night. Lay down, let me pee on you. Whoa, whoa, keep the video PG, guys. <laughs> what you talking about? I'm in a warehouse. We're right sucking here. fingers. I know, but man, if nobody's like, ever sucked a man's finger, y'all shouldn't be watching this channel. Nobody, nobody wants to hear that, man. Oh, uh, I think they do. Um, we just jumped in on this little reef, like 15 foot of water. It's the visibility's yeah. okay. And uh, black groupers are everywhere down here, man. This, this year, I've seen more black, big black group, groupers than I've ever seen down here in the Keys. Man, it's, it's incredible. We've seen at least mm, probably 15 big shooters since we've been here, and we've only been here a day and a half. So, all right, guys. Uh, shot a decent one. I just you just you just saw that. I shot him. That is a battle axe, and I'm using a battle axe 48. Um, man, that's a great gun. I've been using these Cressy guns for years, and the Cressy is a good gun for the money. You know, it, it you can you can use it for just about everything out here. Um, but that battle axe is just uh, it's just built it's built it's built a lot better. It's a $650 gun versus a versus a $250 gun, so it's just built a lot better. So. I'd, I'd recommend both of them, but that battle axe just hammers. So I shot that one, free spirit him, so he saw him swim away. And then um, Tyler was out there in front of me kicking like a devil, chasing him, followed him to a rock. I dove down there. I was able to put another shaft in him inside that rock. Um, and then I swapped over, and you saw me swap over and hit Tyler's gun. And that was a Cressy, and I just got that gun so I'd have a rope on him. So I punched him in the head with that. And um, another beautiful black grouper, guys. Um, I hope you guys can come down here with us one day and do this. This is a, a unbelievable experience. Just a, it's like swimming in an aquarium down here, man. There's so many, so many uh, beautiful things to see. You can swim around all day and not even be hunting and still have a blast with it. But that's enough of that. You have to. We're gonna move and try another spot. Let this one rest. Would you look at that gorgeousness right there? That's that rock. That's that rock. Go get that fish and show them to him. What? Look at that grouper. Mahi Bobby, good job, dude. Nice fish. There you are. Hey, look. Strike Lines already did all the hard work. Let's check them out. Strike Lines 3D maps. Man, it's incredible bottom mapping. You zoom in, you look for that relief. It's really easy to see. It jumps out at you. Guys, there's there's patch reefs everywhere down here. It's all about the equipment you use. You can plug that strike lines into any low ranch, any Simrad, any any any, any unit. And you can uh, and you come find these spots in any boat. You don't need a bunch of waypoints. You just need to get strike lines. You don't even you don't even need to know what you're doing. You just come out here and get in the water. Look at that. I thought you shot at that hawkfish. Yeah. I thought you, I thought you shot no. at that. Bruh. He's a toad. Yeah. He's a toad. Do you need my gloves?
followed it a little bit. Oh, got a really good shot off. He went ahead and rocked up. <coughs> Rhett came out, put another spear in him. That red grouper. So Grant shot a nice little red, 20, 20 and a half inches, just, just barely legal. But hey, we'll take it. That's a sandwich. Same um, me. And then, Tyler, what happened with yours? I missed. <laughs> we'll post, we'll post <laughs> so, the clip later. Same, same core head, Jake shot his. Another big one swam in, stuck his little hairy chin out. I tried to make a very Big difficult shot. shot, and I'm not that good with the spear, so I missed. The camera's pointing at my nuts right now. Oh, is it? I saved. Uh, it's okay, y'all. I nuts saved you a so. spear too. They did. Oh yeah, so I, I lost my my shaft, but uh, Grant gave me the shaft. I bet my hair doesn't look as good as Tyler's does. Tyler, man, you just look at that dude. Dude, man. this guy. What's will that take... magazine that's in all those barber shops that? What's that magazine called? Oh, that's his GQ. face on the top. Yeah. GQ. GQ. Esquire. Hill Billy Deluxe. Man, this guy right here, we'll be on a conference call. He'll have a hat on and pull it off. Boom, his hair is just great. Awesome. You can hear the poop if you listen. I put a hat on and take it off. I look yeah. like I do right now. What you call me yesterday? A cockatoo to do? Something cockatoo. Do you like that? Cockatoo. In the wind? Look like oh, a rooster. But red. Red. Ray got the, the, the mop now. You got the, the mama, mama gave me a bowl cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so sexy. Brother, you gotta up your conditioner game. <laughs> tell me tell me you're from New Iberia without saying you're from New Iberia. <laughs> <laughs> Stay. Look at all that. I don't like you. <laughs> Look at all that sunless tanner on his hug shirt. <laughs> What happened to this hug shirt, man? Get that self tan lotion all over. <laughs> What's going on? Seriously, I need to hear the uh, story about the shirt. That's just sweat stains. Grouper blood, dude. All right. Get your mind on. Yes. Hey, it's 10:30, and I gotta be back for like all these meetings, all these calls. We gotta hey, be on. You can bring me back now, then y'all can go to some other spot. Just saying. All right. I wish he was here. I do too. One for B. Hey, that cockatweeny, bro. That stuff's smooth. We bought a, a 21 year El Dorado and a 23 year Kirk and Sweeney. Man, I'd say the Kirk and Sweeney wins. Sweeney. Yeah, what Sweeney's happened to Reese's? Sweeney's, Sweeney's the best. Sweeney's the best red set of year. What do you say? Best. Sweeney. No, I ate the Number one. What do you say? Number one. Who? Do I bury it? That's a trademark, baby. Oh, Just a little bit all spark. A little gulp. A little gulp. <laughs> the manatee himself. Hey, you don't see that every day now.
Hey, these, this wind is blowing out here today. It's so hard, dude. Oh, we'll pull forward. Super duper gripper. Go on and drive, man. Get up and sit on the ladder.